I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I missed that. Oh, TV is a visual medium. Hmm, so you did, so you did. Of course, without proper visuals, we might as well go back to, uh, what was that thing called? Uh, uh, thank you. It's a fact. One picture is worth a thousand... Well, some pictures are worth a thousand words. Others, well... So we must be able to see clearly from the worst possible seat in the house. Well, let's take a look at a few visuals. Impossible. No, that's not much better. Try again. No, no, that won't do either. No. Ah, that's better. A magnet board diagram with removable sections so we can get a better look and also see how sections relate to each other. Well, obviously TV needs broad, heavy lines. And we need to simplify and isolate visual materials. No matter what size your TV screen is, the ratio of its length to its width is three by four, three units high by four units wide. So our visual should have the same three by four aspect ratio. To divide a card into the largest three by four ratio, mark off three units along the short edge. Using the same guide, mark off four units along the longer side. Now with a T-square, draw a vertical line at the fourth mark. And a horizontal line at the third mark. Draw a straight line from the intersection of these lines to the opposite corner of the box that you've just drawn. If this diagonal hits the top edge of the card, draw a vertical line at this point with a T-square. Then cut off the remainder. Had the diagonal hit the right-hand edge, would have drawn a horizontal line from this point and thrown away the upper remainder. Good. Well, the television system and your TV receiver combined crop off about 10% around all edges. For safety's sake, we can find our artwork to within what's called the critical area. We've drawn this area darkly so you can see these imaginary borders. The left and right-hand borders are each equal to one-sixth of the total card width. The upper and lower borders are one-sixth of the total height of the card. If we forget about critical area and make a slide of this card which just fills the 35 millimeter slide frame, well, here's what happens. And by the way, the height of the smallest letter should be no less than 1 25th of the height of the critical area. Let me repeat that. The height of the smallest letter should be no less than 1 25th of the height of the critical area. And stay away from frilly letters for maximum clarity. Speaking of lettering, there are many sources to choose from. Normally we use black lettering on a light gray card or white lettering on a black card. We may superimpose or super white lettering on black cards over a live scene. Or we may apply white or black lettering to clear acetate. Place the acetate over a picture and photograph the composite. This slide is an ordinary 35 millimeter slide being shown directly on television through a special camera system called a film chain. 
Many slides may be rear projected, allowing us to point to specific features. Good, clear, well exposed slides shot horizontally have become essential to instructional as well as commercial television. If we cut to a series of slides rapidly enough, we end up with a little television animation. Here's a neat little trick. Hey, let's, uh, let's see that again. Very simple. Just a white on black graph and a pull card slipped into a cardboard rail. Pull the card. Wait a minute, we can still see the rail. Ah, there we are. Just a little video adjustment from the control room. Now? Well, let's say we'd like to show current flow through a transistor amplifier. Combine polarizing materials with a rotating polarized filter and... Well, just about any visual device you're now using may be used on TV. What's the matter? All right. If you must use flip charts, make sure they're off-white. For that matter, Anything designed to be seen on TV, clothing, graphics, should be anything but white. We can handle overhead transparencies, too, using rear projection. Whatever you use, make sure that you stick to the 3 by 4 aspect ratio. Want to do your graphics in color? Play it safe and forget it. Use shades of gray instead. The television doesn't see colors exactly as your eye does. Stick with distinctly different shades of gray. Except for supers, your visual should contain elements of real black and real white, as well as a variety of shades of gray. Well, that's it. All you need now is a little and remember Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da